hello everyone welcome to my video on vbscript programming and today we are going to discuss string functions in vbscript and as you can see i have listed out all the different string functions that are possible in vbscript and we are going to discuss each of them <coughs> in brief now let's start with the first one what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a small file let's say instr dot vbs right click and open it notepad plus plus so the first function that we're going to discuss is instr so what does instr do let's take a uh, very simple string str1 equal to my name is john and the second variable str2 equal to John. Now let's try prompting the return value of INSTR of str1 comma str2. Save this, come back and run this. It says zero. Let's replace this with caps John. Go back, run this, and it says 12. If you count the number of characters in the string, my name is John, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So INSTR basically returns the position of the second string inside the first string. So STR1 is my first string, my name is John. STR2 is my second string, which says John. And John starts in position 12 in the bigger string, in the first string. So that's why INSTR gives the position of the starting position of the uh, short string, the second parameter, inside the bigger string, which is the first parameter. That's what INSTR does. Let's try something else. So instead of this, let me just uh, try. This is a sample string. And in this case, I'm going to look for sample. Or let's just say I'm just going to look for Sam. Okay. Let's run this code and see. It says 11. Now, starting from T, if I just count the characters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, SAM SAM starts from the 11th position in the first string. So, that's what INSTR does. It returns the position of the smaller string in the bigger string. Okay, let's uh, look at the second function. The second function that you're going to look is INSTR rev. Parameters are str1, comma str2. And to understand this function better, let's just put a uh, keyword xyz over here, and then put the same keyword xyz over here. Now, if we are searching for xyz, save it. Let's say we do a instr. Before we do instr rev, let's see the value of instr. So if I run this, INSTR says 6, which means that the first occurrence of this, there are multiple occurrences in the string, but the first occurrence, that position is returned. But if I do a INSTR rev, and it says 22, which basically means that the search starts from the end of the string and goes backwards. And it finds the first occurrence of the string from the reverse end, and that position is returned. So if you count from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 22. So that number of characters, so the position of the string that is searched will still be from the first, 22nd position starting from the first character, but the search starts from the end of the string. That's what INSTR rev does. Okay, let's look at L case. So L case is very simple. It just changes the case of that string from uppercase to lowercase. So if str1 is the main string, and if I say LK is str1 and run this, everything changes to small case, lower case. That's what LK does. Let's look at left. The left function is used to extract a substring of that original string starting from the left by using the number of characters as length. So let's say str1, comma 4. 
if I run this, this returns this. So if you see the bigger string starting from the left character, left side, four characters is this. If I mention six and then run this, it will say this space and then x. So six characters from here will be this substring. So left always returns a substring from the bigger string starting from the left and it goes till the number of characters mentioned over the second parameter. Okay. Then we have len. So len is nothing but the length of the string. So it takes just one parameter and it outputs the length of the string which is 31. So if you select this entire string and if you see here it says selection is 31. So notepad plus plus also shows you that the number of characters is 31. That's what len does. L trim. In case your string has leading spaces on the left side and let's say it has some trading spaces as well. Ltrim will always reduce the leading spaces. Let's see how that works. So if I, okay. So if I just do a control C and paste it over here, you can see that the leading spaces are gone, but the trailing spaces are still there. So that's what Ltrim does it removes the leading spaces the spaces on the left side okay let's see the next function next function is mid so mid basically works like a substring so if i say mid of this is the original string starting position is one and go for 10 characters let's see what this returns close this run this and it turns this space xyz space what is the next character i think it's a i yeah so if you start from here and go till i you can see that these are 10 characters so that's what mid does it takes the original string it takes a starting position and it takes number of characters so if i say starting position is 10 and then go number of characters uh, let's say 15 save it and run this it starts from is and goes till xyz so if you start from here can see that this is the 10th position uh, but I've given 10 over here and it started from let me just uh, go back and see the string again is a sample XYZ is a sample XYZ so that's the so the length of the output is 15 which is correct uh, but uh, if you check the position of the start starting word which is is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 perfect so it starts from the 10th position of the string and it goes all the way to 15 characters and it takes out the entire string that's what mid does it works like a substring the next function you're going to look at is replace So replace basically searches for a string, searches for a substring inside a main string. So suppose I'm searching for X, Y, Z in the main string and I can replace that using ABC. Save it and then run this. And you see that wherever there is X, Y, Z that is replaced with ABC. So that's what substring does. It searches for a certain substring inside the main uh, string and replaces that substring with the new substring for all the occurrences Okay, so if I have to take one more example, let's say str1 is the biggest string. Let me just search for this And then replace that with that So there is just one occurrence of this and that is replaced with that that's what substring re replaced us. I'm sorry. Then we have right. So we have already seen left. Similar to that, right gives a string of characters from the right side of the string based on the number of characters mentioned here. So if I mention eight characters over here and then run this, it will give Z string. So if you start from Z and go all the way to end of string, it's eight characters, right? So right means start from the right side of the string and go for eight characters and return that string. That's what right does. 
the next function is r trim we have already seen l trim r trim is just the opposite so in case we have leading spaces and we have trailing spaces r trim takes care of only the trailing spaces so if i just run this and then copy this paste it here if you see this it doesn't have any trailing spaces it only has leading spaces so r trim takes care of the trailing spaces on the right side save this okay the next function is space okay so space just returns the number of space you need based on this number so if I say 10 and if I run this copy and paste it here this will have 10 spaces so space of 10 means it just returns 10 spaces so if I say space of 100 it will return 100 spaces it just returns the number of spaces which is specified by this number that's it okay so the next function is strcomp string comparison so let's say we put a message box and we say strcomp str1 str2 save this run this it says minus 1 so in case str1 is bigger than str2 this strcomp returns minus 1 now let's shift the parameters str2 comes first then str1 it says 1 so if str2 so we're basically sorting this based on the characters so if I just reduce the spaces over here and then put str1 str2 still gives minus one okay so if I just reduce the first character and alphabetically make it prior to T uh, let's say I make it uh, ABC so this gives one so alphabetically speaking if str2 uh, comes prior to str1 then str1 is greater than str2 uh, if you are thinking on a you know, sort order, alphabetic sort order. So in that case, if str1 is greater than str2, then it returns 1. So if I just uh, make this x, y, z again, let's put it uppercase, and it changes to minus 1. So if str2 is less than, ST, str1 is less than str2, it returns minus 1. So if you consider this two strings, and if you try to sort these two strings, then t comes before x. So on a sort order, alphabetic sort order, x, y, z is greater than this string. So if str1 is greater than str2, it will return 1. If str1 is less than str2, it will return minus 1. And if both are equal, it will return 0. Let's try that also. So let me just copy the string and paste it over here. And then let me just go back and double click on this and it says 0. So for an equal string it returns 0, otherwise it does a alphabetic comparison of the two strings and finds out which one is the larger string based on the sort sequence, alphabetic sort sequence. And we can also introduce a third parameter, 0 or 1. 0 is for, I think, uh, binary and 1 is for text. So if I put x, y, z over here and I put 0 for a binary comparison, it gives minus 1. And if I put 1, it still gives minus 1. So basically, in any ways, x, x, y, z is considered as a greater string than this. So it comes in the higher order of the sort in when you're sorting it alphabetically. Okay. Now, let's go with string. Okay, so string function basically takes a number as the first parameter, let's say 10, and it takes a character as the second parameter, let's say x. 
so calling this function will return this character this many times let's see how this works let's go back and run this and it returns 10 axis so that's what it does it takes this character and returns repeats this character this many times and returns the entire string so if I just put a uh, dollar over here and run this it returns ten dollars okay uh, let's see what happens if I put instead of a single character if I put three characters it always returns the first character it ignores the other characters so it's supposed to take only one character and return that character repeat that character this many times and create a string out of it that's what string does okay str reverse str reverse so if you do str reverse it's very simple it just reverses the string save it run this and this xyz is a sample xyz string that entire string is reversed so that's str reverse for you it just reverses the entire string then we have trim we have already seen l trim and r trim u case we have already seen l case so u case is just the opposite it converts lowercase to uppercase and trim takes care of trimming spaces from both sides so it's trim is basically equi equivalent to doing a l trim and r trim both so let's just see trim over here i'll put leading spaces and i'll put trading spaces save it and if i run this copy this and paste it here and you can see that this does not have any spaces there is no leading spaces there is no trading spaces so trim takes care of both l, l trim and r trim okay so in today's video we have seen some basic string functions in vbscript these are very simple functions which will be very useful to you in your coding uh, I have given a very simple example but you can try your own examples and if you face any issues you can let me know in the comment section and I'll post a video for you. Thank you.